I've been using the Anchor Solex F3800 whole home backup system for the past five months or so, and we've almost made it all the way through hurricane season. And while we haven't taken any direct hits locally, we've still had tons of really bad weather. So having this system has really been a game changer for me and my family, and has really relieved lots of stress surrounding power outages with bad weather. Since installing this power backup system, there have been a few occasions where the rest of my neighbors were without power for several hours, whereas me and my family, we still had power for everything in our home. About a month ago, we actually had a hurricane heading in our direction, and I was able to go into the app and put the system in battery backup mode. That way it would prioritize charging the system so that it was ready in case of an outage. And I really do like having that peace of mind that even if the power goes out, we're still good when it comes to the most important essentials. Another way that this system has really been handy is that we've been able to use this time of use feature. So essentially the way this works is you can charge the batteries during off-peak hours or even super off-peak hours when the electricity is at a fraction of the cost because it's not really in demand at that time, then you can use that cheaper power that you've stored to power your entire home. This feature has saved my family about 30 to $60 per month. I do like the fact that this is useful even if you're not in an emergency situation. In the video that I did for this a few months back, we really focused on the power output of the system and what all this was capable of, how many appliances that it could power up at once. In that video, I kind of walked around the house, turned on all the lights and all the appliances and electronics and kind of showed you just what this is capable of. The number one question that I've gotten recently is how long will the power last if an outage actually occurs? Since then, Anchor sent out a second F3800 and two more expansion batteries. My whole setup here gives us 19,200 watt hours, which should be enough to power us from 10 to 15 hours of normal use. Our home is slightly larger than average, and I'm gonna simulate a total power outage by turning the grid power off at the side of my house, and we're gonna let it switch over to the Anchor Solex whole home battery backup system and just see how long this will last with us using our power like normal. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the grid power off. All right, so we'll make the switch in three, two, one. Okay, so we're totally on battery power right now. Did you notice a switch? You can tell me, did you notice a switch? There was like a little flick. Like, but not in the, the TV didn't turn off or anything. The lights just made like a tiny little. Thing. Oh yeah, that's that's perfectly normal. Sweet, but the TV never turned off? Uh-uh. That's insane. No, just, the, even the air filter never turned off. Just like a little bit of a flicker? Yeah, like it, it never stopped or anything. I just, the lights like flicked. Even you know how sometimes when the air conditioner bumps on, how sometimes stuff will like just, it just kind of cool. All right, so it's 8.16 a.m. We're gonna just run totally, completely off battery for the rest of the day and see how long the battery backup can last. Everything that we're running currently, we're running at 1.31 kilowatts and we're at 100% on all of our battery backup. This is estimating that we should be able to get about 10 and a half hours just with our current use. All right, so it's currently 9 at 20 and it's been a pretty busy morning. My wife's already gotten ready for the day. She took a hot shower. She actually blow dried her hair. I was able to brew myself a cup of coffee. I made breakfast with the microwave. I caught up on some news and was actually able to start getting a little bit of work done for the day. And I'm really surprised at how much we've got left. After the first hour of use, we're down to 89% of the battery remaining. So at this rate, we should be able to get at least 10 hours out of our battery backup, but I'm gonna to continue to check in every hour or so to see where we're at. So checking back in, it's 11.25 now, so we've been going for three plus hours strong, and over the past couple of hours, it's not been as busy here at the house. I've been using electricity as normal, uh, using the lights and everything as normal. I have brewed another cup of coffee and I've gotten some more work done as mainly editing on my laptop. So at a little more than three hours in, we're currently at 75%. So at the current rate, we could go past 10 hours. I assume that when the kids get home from school, there's gonna be some more electricity usage, but we'll check that out later. So it's been about three hours since we last checked in. I've just continued my work. 
mostly in my office. I did leave the house for about an hour for a meeting with my wife, and then I came back home and made some macaroni and cheese in the microwave, and we'll take a look. So it's 157, we're at 62%. We've been off grid for about six hours, and we still have well over half of our capacity left. So at this rate, we should be able to get 12 plus hours out of our battery backup. All right, checking back in, it is 5.30. The kids have been home for about three hours. We've been going all day for about nine hours strong. We've just been using the electricity like normal since the kids have been home from school. They've been watching their different TVs, playing video games, and I've continued to work throughout the day. At 5.30, a little bit more than nine hours since we've converted over to the battery backup. We're at 37%. We're actually about to head out for basketball practice for my son and then the rest of us have something that we've got to do up at the church. And when we get back later this evening, we'll check in one final time to see where we're at with the battery backup. We're finally back home and we've been on battery power for about 13 hours. Let's take a look. 13 hours on battery power. We still have 13% left. We could probably go another you know, hour and a half to two hours before this totally runs out of juice, but I think we're gonna stop the demonstration here. I'm super impressed with just how powerful this system is and the fact that we were able to get through the entire day and still have power left over. I'm pretty sure that I could stretch this power even further if I was in a true emergency situation. I also have some portable solar panels, so in a true power outage situation, I could continue charging these batteries and use this indefinitely. If you're looking for a solid, reliable, whole home power backup system, then the Anchor Solux F3800 whole home power backup system is definitely a great option. I'll be sure to include links in the description of where you can find out more information about the F3800 from Anchor Solux, where you can pick one up for yourself. That about wraps it up for this video. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.